What is up, fellow educators? My name is Nick, and today I'm going to explain my philosophy of education. Firstly, I believe that education is a process of imparting a particular body of knowledge or skill set onto oneself, generally preparing oneself for a more intellectually mature life. Now, in the classroom, this carryover starts initially with the recognition of individual differences and diverse backgrounds of everyone inside the classroom. I acknowledge that everyone comes from a different, uh, different home, everyone comes from different belief systems, and it is imperative of being able to recognize every student as an individual and teaching the student as a whole, instead of just dishing content out for the, the masses and throwing spaghetti onto a wall, hoping that it sticks. So, however, I believe that all students as diverse and as, as different as they are, I believe that all students can learn and that all students have the potential for success and that it is my job as an educator to uh, embody and embrace this philosophy with every student. Um, I will meet this potential with my students by meeting them where they are currently at, at the curriculum, and I will provide appropriate instruction appropriate rigorous instruction because I want the best and I want to prove my students that they can succeed and you succeed by being one percent better than the last time so by doing just a little bit harder by challenging yourself just a little bit more than you did the day before with an appropriately managed curriculum the sky's the limit and the growth potential is unlimited and I will also I will further increase this receptive uh kind of teaching style by creating a student-centered, interactive, and most importantly, a fun, fun classroom where everyone feels excited, safe, and the, they feel like they have the ability to learn. <clears throat> Furthermore, another huge part of my philosophy is cultivating a, a classroom growth mindset together as a community inside the classroom. If we work on being vulnerable and using our failure as a point of reflection and using failure as a teacher to help predict future success and to help use our failures as many guiding lessons to skew us in the direction of success is hugely important. The mantra, win or learn, there is no loss, is a huge cornerstone of my philosophy of education because throughout your educational uh, life, life throughout the duration of your education journey, there are going to be times where you suffer crushing defeats and you're going to feel intimidated. You might feel sad. You might feel embarrassed. It might be so bad that it might be kind of comical how bad you failed, but it is so imperative that we take that failure and use it as a tool of reflection for growth. And it'll be my job as an educator using my personal experiences inside the classroom of failure and how I've grown from that or from the educator perspective and supporting my students through, through growth and through failure and how to develop through both of them. Um, finally, another big part of my educational cornerstone is the development and the establishment of a professional teacher-student relationship. I want students to know who I am as a person, what I personally care about and what I stand for. And I wanna know the same out of my students. I wanna know who they are as an individual, what their goals are for life and what they wanna do with their life. Um, I really wanna develop a presence inside and outside of the classroom and help these kids grow as individuals and not just teach them content matter. So in summation, an acronym to describe my personal philosophy of education is grow higher. Goals, reality, options, will, honesty, integrity, respect, and ethics. All put together, create an unstoppable force for good.